Ugh, so many empty freaking spool holders. I got a solution. Welcome back legends. I'm Mark from Legendary Makes and in today's video, we're gonna redo an older video that I had on my older channel. Uh, with this new channel, I'm kind of revamping some of my older projects and one of the projects we're revamping today is the filament spool holder, more specifically for the empty uh, spool holders that you guys might uh, collect because <laughs> I know I've got a lot. And towards the end of the video, we are going to jump into Autodesk, kind of show you how I designed this. It's a real simple design, but I figure we get the meat and bones out of the way for you guys who just want to see the thing built. And then for all you other nerds like me who love Autodesk, we'll jump in there and check that out. So let's get this thing built. So this is the original design I had um, and it works pretty well. I mean, you stack all your spools on there. They're organized. You need one, you got new filament coming in, slide it off pop a new roll on and call it good. Uh, but I wanted to remake this video. So we actually remade this spool holder and um, I kind of needed a second one because I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with something regarding spools, empty spools, but uh, the cardboard ones. So I've got a future project coming up on that. So of course, like and subscribe or you won't be able to see that project. Uh, but I've got the other one printed out and we're going to put that thing together. But we did have one fail. It failed halfway through printing the threads in here. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I don't know what the issue was. It failed. It is what it is. Um, it happens once in a while. It's usually when I don't use Bamboo Lab uh, filament. So let's just chuck this. So we have some pieces here. I've got two rods. I've got a cap and I've got the base. The base kind of got weird. It was kind of coming off the plate just a little bit. So the print head was scraping against this as it was uh, finishing up, but it's not that big a deal. This isn't for any aesthetic purposes. The spools are going to be hanging out on top of this anyway, so not the biggest deal. And I got one more rod that finished up on this printer over here, so I'm going to go grab that. So we just did some supports here, tree supports, nothing too crazy. Uh, I did have to try to figure out which ones would work because uh, the supports kept trying to support the threads, which is a no-go. I'm gonna deburr the rest of these and we'll get to building this thing. You can see the little spines in there and those will lock into here. There we go. I don't know if I should probably show you the threads if that's interesting to you guys, but yeah, just put some threads on there. Um, and it's a bulky enough piece that I don't have to really worry about the snapping. Um, it's not really load bearing anyways, so not the biggest deal in the world anyways. It's funny because this, the way the light is, it, lo it looks like this thing is like bowed, like it's not straight, but I know it is completely straight. This will lock in. So I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the actual lock in. It does like click. There we go. First thread, there we go. That's it, nice little spool holder. And what I will be using this one for is these guys. I got a project coming up on a future video. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to figure out the most recyclable, useful purpose for these things. Um, and I think I got something really awesome. So we're gonna be working on that project. That'll be a future video. So again, like and subscribe if you wanna check that out. There we go, now I've got all my bamboo spools on one and all my other ones on the other. So this literally only cost me about seven, six dollars in filament. Um, and it's, I think it's a clever idea. Um, seven dollar fix to, you know, not having these hanging out everywhere because um, they can get quite cumbersome. <laughs> And if you got a lot of them, they get annoying and they don't really stack very well. They kind of do, but then they tip over or slide off each other, all that. So this definitely should help. I'm going to upload this file if you guys want it on my website at legendarymakes.com uh, for free. So it'll be on there. Scroll to the bottom of the website. There's a couple free items on there. And then I do have a video coming up on these cubbies behind me and organizers. Um, as you can hear and see the printers, my P1S is printing away. They are in the middle of printing up a bunch of cubby organizers. <laughs> that video is going to also show me designing, uh, me writing it down on paper, the measurements of everything going from paper to Autodesk to printing to set up. So that one should be a fun video. 
It's probably gonna be broken up into a few different ones because there are two, three, four, eight cubbies, eight very specific designed pieces for my tools to go in there. So uh, it should be pretty fun. And if this was a, of any sort of value to you, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and most important of all, share. We're back here on the computer, got Autodesk Fusion loaded, and I'm looking at my old design here. Um, and it looks like I went through different, a few different iterations here. Um, Cause we have some weird design. Yeah, I think I was struggling with these screw holes and I made this too thin. Um, but anyways, we'll, we'll get past that. So, and it looks like I don't have the cap for whatever reason um, saved. I think what I ended up doing is I took this and I just cut this with inside, like inside a bamboo slicer because this would essentially be a cap if you look at it, if I get rid of Okay. Okay. So if I get rid of all of this, this would essentially be a cap, right? So. I think I could just slice this and move it up and copy it. So that's what we're gonna do. This is just, okay. And so let me, let's maybe explain a couple things here. So the reason why you see this, right, is um, this is going to get printed onto the base. And as you can see, what this does is it screws in and it essentially locks this in because this isn't something I'm gonna be taking apart, uh, but I do want this to be tall, right? Cause I wanna fit a bunch of uh, empty spools of filament. And um, and I want this to lock in. So when I screw this on, it'll tighten, tighten, and then all of a sudden it'll click onto these and it doesn't come undone after that. So I don't have to use any glue or anything like that. And I thought that was a cool design feature. Um, when I was uh, first, you know, starting out with Fusion.